G'day everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an On The Back Wheel video. If you're on the KLR 650 social pages or just been having a look online lately, you've probably noticed that there are a lot of near new KLR 650s for sale. Why? Well, there are a few main reasons, but before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and help grow the channel. So the new KLR 650 was announced and everyone went nuts. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people interested in dual sports and adventure bikes were pretty pumped. I mean, if you take out the couple of in-between models we got in Australia and a few other places, this is only the third upgrade the KLR has had in near enough 35 years. And I have to say, I thought it looked sweet. Hell, I even bought one sight unseen. The new KLR just looks like a tough do-it-all adventure bike and the big kicker, it is cheap. Have a look at the prices of bikes nowadays and it seems like everything has just been going up and up in price. Not the mighty KLR though. Sure, the new model wasn't getting a six-speed transmission that we all wanted and it managed to gain some weight, but the trade-offs were fuel injection, LED lights, a smoother ride, larger luggage capacity, and a look that is both modern and stuck in the Desert Storm era. And the KLR just happened to launch during COVID, which turned out to be a huge seller for motorcycles. The coronavirus really changed a lot of people's perspectives on what is important and changed people's priorities. People were sick of lockdowns and overseas travel was non-existent. So people started to explore their own backyards and the KLR perfectly fit that bill. It was well priced and it really is a do-it-all bike and they sold like hotcakes. So here's the thing, we're starting to see a ton of KLRs for sale now. This has a lot of people perplexed, especially owners. Most owners are loving theirs and I'm really enjoying mine too. So I've had a look into it and discovered what I think are the main reasons why people are selling them. Number one, the KLR is boring. It may look the business, but at the end of the day, this is a pretty dull bike. Sure, it's a 650, but it doesn't have much power at all and it's heavy. Like it or not, people love power. I mean, I'm one of those people too, and the KLR simply doesn't have it. Combine that with its porky weight, and it's just not exciting. I reckon I could attribute a large amount of sales to this reason alone. I mean, old Joe Blow gets all excited, buys one new off the showroom floor, goes for a couple rides and says, wow, I expected more than that. Another reason is some people purchased a KLR because they couldn't get the bike they actually wanted. The Yamaha Tenere 700 has been rare as unicorn turds, and when you can find one, they are massively overpriced. Bikes in general have been an absolute pain in the ass to get until recently. As bikes become more available, Owners have gone, hey, I can actually get a Tenere 890 Desert Aprilia now. Time to get rid of the Kawasaki and get onto something I really want. Man, something I've noticed is, at least here in Australia, everything is back to normal, like COVID isn't a thing anymore. While working from home has increased massively, people are getting back into the grind and riding less. So those toys you got in COVID, that beautiful camper trailer and motorbike, they aren't getting used. Also with interest rates and the cost of living going up recently, some people are starting to feel the pinch or they had some spare money during COVID because no one was going anywhere. So something has to give and that's the KLR in this instance. To me, the beauty of the KLR is that it's solid. It isn't exciting, it's not fast, it's definitely heavy, but it's got a flat, easy to use power band, it's comfortable, there's some wind protection, you've got great fuel range, it's cheap and reliable. This bike is more about taking you on an adventure rather than being the adventure. Once you realize that about the KLR, it clicks. 
So there you have it. Those are the reasons I think riders are selling their KLR 650. What do you think the reasons are? Or even better, have you sold your KLR recently? Put it in the comments down below and let me know. I'm genuinely curious about this one. If you haven't, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. My goal is to hit 10,000 subs, so let's get there, people. All right, everyone, keep it on the back wheel. Catch us.